What's going on YouTube? Divinus Star King here with another video. And today we're talking about should you buy and hold stuff for the short term or long term? Um personally for me, I don't buy stocks for the to to buy now and sell later. I'm into dividends. Um but um this stock here, United Natural Foods, Unify, I bought this um I sold this stock, by the way. Um, I bought it. I forgot when I bought it. It was like it was really low at one point. It was a bad press about it. I believe I bought it for like five dollars, and then I sold it for I think around this time of the year. It was fourteen. I made some money off it. But if I had kept it, I would have made more money. Um, so some stocks you should be if you can find a good stock that. Let's say some bad press hit the market and you want to get some shares um, or we're doing new companies coming out and you want to invest in that. I would do it um, just because um, I read some bad press about Unify, like maybe, you know, around January, February, some of the uh, these their centers uh, was boycotting, which slowed down a lot of production. So. I went ahead and bought two shares of it because of the bad press, knowing that food was not going anywhere. And after a while, it'll get better. Um, but you can buy stocks for the short term if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're buying, if you know, look at the press, look at if you find a good startup and if you can find a good startup that you see that is going to be good in the future. I want to invest in something like that. If, if, a, if, a, if a good company, uh, if a major company takes a big hit, or something like that, you might want to scoop some shares up. Um, but I don't typically buy and hold and sell them. I usually just buy only dividend paying stocks, but I will occasionally buy a stock where, you know, um, I know that it'll go it'll hit, it'll take a hit. Um, what else will be there? Like, try Walmart. If I know it'll be a big hit in the market if it'll load up. This, um, Hit one more here. Um, sometimes you know you want to buy and hold certain businesses. If you want to buy and hold Amazon, like you bought Amazon ten years ago, you could have you know you could be up right now. Um, but you gotta really know what you're buying, and you want to hold it that long. Excuse me. Um, this past year, Walmart probably skyrocketed because of the pandemic. Um, it didn't take a big hit. It stayed consistent. But maybe five years ago, go five years ago, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta you gotta kind of predict the future, even though you have the fifty fifty chance of being wrong. Um, like I said, you bought it, you know, two almost what four years ago, you know, it was worth you know fifty sixty dollars. Now it's worth one thirty, one hundred four three dollars, and it's climbing. That's a long time time to hold a stock. Um, like I said, you can find a good deal, get it. You know, I would get some too. I mean, I bought Unify. I heard that the, like AMC is another prime example that I own two shops. Um, okay. Oh, that's too wrong. So AMC, sorry about that. I thought I cut the, my camera off. AMC is another one that I own. Cause I saw the bad news it was getting, and um, they had a lot of bad press as well. Um, I think that when he pulled out of, uh, I guess the trolls will be coming out, and it went straight to uh, DVR. It go to the theaters. They took a big hit on that as well, and I bought it for two dollars. You know, I bought two shares. I'm up two dollar forty and seventy five cents. In the past year, it has been it's been going down ever since. And the reason I bought AMC, me and my wife, we do go to the movie theater, and I think it'll start to come up a little bit. Um, you know, I bought it when it's cheap, and movie theaters tend to do well, in my opinion. You know, I think once everything is lifted, movies and stuff will come back. Um, but I bought two shares of it. I got two shares. I'm holding at. They don't really pay a dividend, but I'm holding that for the long term. Maybe 10 years from now, 
I'm holding it right now. I bought two shares of two dollars fifty cent. If I can flip it for thirty dollars, I'll do it. But I do hold like AMC. You know, the 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 cost was too much, too low to uh, not get. I'm up two dollars seventy six cents. So sometimes, hey, you buy something for two dollars, sell it for five. I mean, it's not a bad one either. But you guys gotta find what's industry taking a hit, like AMC taking a hit. It's still down. You know, as far as the price, I will get it myself. I might buy some more just to hold. If I believe the movie theaters will come back, which I think they will. Um, it, it'll take time though for that to come back fully, but I'm willing to wait for it. Um, you, you know, you gotta think. Just don't buy any kind of stock before, and don't buy anything as you own research. I'm not a financial guy. I'm not a stock expert. This is what my opinions are. Yeah, while AMC took took a hit and dropped down two dollars, it was a like two dollars and some change. I swept it up two shares. You know, here it was seven. It was still always going down, but around this time right here, I scooped up two shares because you no, know, I don't think movie theaters will go out of business. Some AMC's have you know the movie theater plus they sell food and they sell beer and alcohol there. They have the big nice chairs, so it's a nice getaway. And I think once this whole thing, this uh, 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 pandemic clears up. Uh, that more people go out to the movies. I think maybe next summer. Um, I think once this winter pass comes and the winter the summer comes up, everyone will be going to movie theaters. This is my opinion, though. Don't know for sure, but the AMC will spike up. And if it don't spike up, worst case scenario, I lost a couple of dollars. I mean, it's a, I'm a win-win. You know, I can always sell it, but um, I think they do better. Right now, I heard that they're running out spaces. You can run out the whole theater. For like a hundred dollars, I think more people would do that. Um, especially you know, one hundred fifty dollars, you get ten people, and by chipping ten dollars, you know, that's the same price of a movie ticket. So that's pretty neat too. Especially you have you know, two, three kids, and you're gonna spend that much money anyway. You know, mom runs the whole theater. I'll have your own room. So that's a some that might spark some interest. It's not a bad idea. You get you know, two, three couples together. To have your own, watch your own movie, you know, if I put them you know, 15, 20 bucks, you ran out for two hours. So, this is a, there's two examples of something I've been doing lately. Um, look at stuff that takes, look at what takes a hit, what takes a hit, and can you buy that cheap, hold it for a while? I'm a dividend investor. I don't really buy stocks or pay a dividend. Um, but if I can see something like AMC, I can see it being better, in my opinion, like in Unify. I should have kept it for the long term. I didn't. By making some money off, I could have made more of a hell on to it. But those things I learned with time. So that's the end of my video. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like the video, share the video. And I'll see you next time.